your, I believe, fifth tutorial, um, just tangent, okay? This is the completed project right here. This is a very simple, simple um, drawing, but if you mess up the drafting settings, it's going to be a pain for you, so pay attention to what I do in the next, like, 30 seconds, okay? So what you're going to want to do here is, let's close this out. Let's open up the naked drawing, okay? Not naked drawing, but you know, the drawing that I gave to you um, that's attached to the email with this the link of this actual video tutorial, okay? So um, go ahead and just uh, like open it. Yes. Continue. Okay. So this is what you're going to open. It's called tangent.dwg, okay? Alternatively, you can find this on your Z drive, but many of you don't have access to the Z drive or whatever. So, um, I again emailed this out to you. Just look at the attachment folders, download it to whatever, and you know get going. So, what you're going to want to do here is um, drafting settings. Okay, this is going to change for almost everybody. All right, um, PCs uh, have it a little differently, but you guys have messed with this, so just figure out where it is and then it looks identical to the one that you see right here okay most important thing that you have okay just hit clear all alright to clear and then you only want to select tangent that's it nothing else don't click anything else that's it hit OK let it do its thing and alright we're ready to go Alright, so first thing, type line. Alright. Now you see how that little green thing shows up there? That indicates that it's marking it's a, you know it's it's uh it's getting the tangent of that circle there. It's very important, okay? And it's gonna move. You see how that, that intersection moves as I'm you know going going around with this? That's critical, okay? This is very 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 helpful um, so just make sure that you pay attention to what you're doing okay so there you go just click the second line or a second circle I'm sorry and just go to town very simple now you are gonna run into some problems here in um, if you you know, you gotta come close, okay? If you're way over here or whatever, you're gonna mess up. So come close to what you're the actual, you know, what you're trying to connect to. You see how it bumped down? It's just like, you know, I had my cursor all the way up here, but it fixed it, went down to there. That's why this thing is so beautiful. So, uh, but don't be idiots. You gotta make sure that you're actually, you know, coming close, um, or else AutoCAD doesn't know what you're talking about and it's gonna air out and you're gonna get a wrong thing. That thing's done. Let's come over here. Just type in line. Wait for the tangent thing to pop up. Bingo. Accept it by entering. Line again. Tangent. Attach to the tangent part of the circle. See how it auto corrects you, uh, corrects, and places that line precisely where it needs to go. incredibly useful tool that thing's done let's add some tangents to this bad boy here now the next few minutes are going to be a little bit boring as I just add you know the lines to these but stick with me towards the end because um, you're gonna mess up on these circles um, if you're not paying attention to what you're doing so uh, not these circles but you know the, the second part of this so it's gonna save me from answering a lot of redundant emails so just watch this entire thing I know this is really boring
All right, focus, 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 focus. This is the part that's going to be it's going to be a little tricky for some people. Okay, come over here to your circles icon. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you got to get out of the. Uh, you got to hit escape and whatnot. So come over here to the circles, and for me, there we go. Okay, you just kind of have to hold it or whatever. But come down here to it says tan tan radius. Okay, click that. That's the one you want. If you hit any other one, it's going to mess up. All right, and for this one, you want to specify that you want this on this edge tangent with this guy and a radius of 10. So type in 10 and hit OK. Or hit enter, I'm sorry. For this guy, you want that, that tangent circle to lie, to have the, the little circles to be on the inside. So you gotta come over here and specify that you want the tangent points to be about over here and about over here, okay? And specify at 10 and hit enter. If you specify if you if you do this on the inside of these, okay, it's gonna put that circle down here as opposed to over here. So be careful about where you're specifying where the tangent line is or where the tangent points are for the circle. Same thing for over here. We want it to be on top of this, tangent line to be here, but on this side over here, so specify it. Don't go up here and do it. Don't do that. Come down here and specify about, about that location. Okay, there you go. That easy. Now for these guys, we want to create three large tangent circles with a radius of 25. And you want to come here, hit this bad boy, tangent to that, tangent to that, and radius of 25. And that's going to put you know, it's going to make that circle. And you can see here, this is also tangent to that too. Okay. Come back over here, tan, tan radius. It's 25. Bang. Come over here. go radius 25 okay cool now let's hit escape now let's trim these bad boys off okay select the things that you don't want to trim so it'd be like that that and that okay hit enter and you're gonna want to hit delete that delete this here and delete that okay and just escape, enter, whatever, just to get you to the right section. Come over here. We gotta create another tan tan radius point. This radius will be 55 here. And come on over here. Now don't get jumpy with the mouse. Make sure that you're actually waiting for that tangent line, the little icon to pop up. If you get too excited and you just and you don't let it to you know let it attach to anything, you know it's it's not going to attach to anything and you're going to wind up messing up your drawing. And then emailing me asking why isn't it working? Line. Wait, there you go. Attach and attach. Line, attach, and attach. How does that look? Inspect, make sure it looks good. Looks good. Everything's all filled in. All right. Come down here. Edit. Last name Robert or Randolph. That's my official name. B zero 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 nine six nine two eight eight eight. Lab hour. 
Um, you're going to be lab one, two, or three. Figure out what you what yours are. One, two, or three, because that's what I want you to put down. All right. If your lab, so you just just figure out if you're lab one, lab two, or lab three. If you can't figure out what you are, just put when you meet. Do you meet Monday, Wednesdays, um, and then at what time? Okay, three or you know whatever. Round it up to that you know the hour. You don't need to put three or five. Maybe Monday and Fridays. Uh, you know, three o'clock or, or whatever, or four o'clock, whatever. Put that. Just something. You don't need to go crazy on the lab hour, but just kind of helps me identify. Most critical thing is your name. Okay, everything else, PID in the lab hour, just extra. All right, quick, easy, simple. Uh, get this thing turned in, print it out correctly, and um, we'll check you off, and you'll be good to go.